Carly, consumer duty, one of financial services hottest topics and a really good example of a regulatory tool, non-enforcement based one that's designed to drive up standards across the industry. So we're going to focus for the next few minutes on platform firms. They make up a key part of our client demographic and they have some really unique touch points for consumer duty. Could you just break those touch points down for me into a handful of impact areas? Yeah, so we've seen from some of our clients and just in the industry at large um, that the impacts are kind of categorised into four key areas. So firstly, fair value assessments, then target markets, customer communications, and then technology, of course, really important for platform firms. So fair value, very topical, making the headlines. Could you unpack that a little bit specifically for platforms firms? Yeah, so as platform firms are kind of gatekeepers to lots of different products and services for customers, uh, they tend to see a huge amount of of issues or potential issues with fair value for their customers. So the main thing and the main takeaway really is that they need to make sure they're not categorizing all of the customers in the same way. So for example, what's appropriate for one customer and what's fair for one customer might not be fair for another. Um, so for example, with platforms, if a client has a small portfolio, if there are sort of large fees on the platform, it may not be the most appropriate solution for them. So they really need to consider kind of the whole range there. So in terms of customers, it's really important then that platform firms understand who makes up their consumer base and also their target markets. Um, so unfortunately, it's not a one size fits all approach for different clients. They really need to consider segmenting them as much as they can. So if somebody just has very simple portfolio, then perhaps they just need a really plain solution offered to them. And then if they have larger sums, then maybe they can have some more complex options available. Um, they also need to consider kind of vulnerable customers and those kind of issues. So the FCA's recent Good and Poor Practice Report is particularly helpful actually looking at customer communications. So it has stated that some really good examples of good customer communications are things that are proactive, um, they have the customer in mind at all times. Um, they're very clear, sometimes using images, diagrams and that kind of thing. Um, so it may be that what, what's a right sort of communication for one client might not be right for another. So they need to consider that as well. You also mentioned technology. What are the key impact points for platform firms there? So it's not just the platform firms knowing their products and services really, really well. It's also looking at the functionality of the platform itself. So asking themselves questions like, is it easy to use? Is it clear? Does it make sense to the customers as they're going through the process? But then also kind of on the same, uh, the other side of the coin, um, looking at whether there are friction points as well. So making sure that customers can't progress really easily and not have any points where um, risks are highlighted to them and there are decision points. So it's kind of having both of those things when they're looking at the technology in place. In terms of timing, we're at sort of at a halfway point, aren't we? So roughly six months past one big consumer de duty deadline, roughly six months to go to the next one in July this year. What would be the main priorities as you see them for platform firms? So it's really just taking into account all of the FCA guidance uh, so far. So the Dear CEO letters from the end of last year, um, any of the reports that have been published, like the Good and Poor Practice Report, and then having discussions in the industry as far as you can. So that's the way I think to create practical solutions um, to the consumer duty. Um, and then obviously any lessons learned from the open products, using those in relation to closed products. And then finally, I guess going forward in the long term is just uh, factoring in the principles and the outcomes of the consumer duty with, through any changes, any technology changes and making sure it's part of the firm's infrastructure. There really is a lot, isn't there? Very multifaceted, lots to take on board, lots to read and listen to as we approach the next deadline and undoubtedly beyond as well. Mm. Thank you. Thanks.